Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis, server 68 verse server 54 plus 12. So we are against the large uh, C-U-M, cry us more, something like that, come. I can't remember what it stands for, but this is one of the two mega alliances and we haven't played them in a while. Uh, so the start of this video, it was maybe one rally in, like uh, we set archers and then a couple more and I started the video right there. I tried the live stream, uh, had some issues with uh, live streaming on the mobile. The, the issue was uh, I put on live stream on the mobile and then when I tried to change the screen out of YouTube, like it's, it's created like a, a video on my face, like as if I was just gonna talk and do a live stream. And then when I switched over to the game, the video stopped so i couldn't figure out how to do that so maybe there's something in the in the settings on youtube i'm going to look into it i'm going to run some trials and try to figure that out maybe uh, ask youtube support because i would like to live stream and i know people do and it's not ideal to live stream from on a computer so trying to show some reports here this is very very fast uh we actually get out to a big lead against these guys i think we we're up about twenty thousand at one point they just have so many big players like that are all like 15 to 20 billion and we end up losing uh it ends up within about two or three thousand points for quite a while probably about an hour hour 15 and then eventually uh we just couldn't fight for yeah so right here something weird happened my game just crashed i don't know what happened and like a warning sort of popped up and then the game crashed. This is at speed two because uh, it's boring to watch it all at slow speed. If you want to pause at some points to look at the scoreboard, you probably don't care that much, but it's the options there. So porting away, uh, we don't like to port, teleport, and we don't like when the other team does, but these guys just have such a big power advantage over us that if we agree to just sit there and not port, like we're gonna lose. So we have to add a skill factor and try to be able to uh, do it. So what you saw there was me porting away just at the last second, I got out of a few of them. Uh, and then they said immediately on you right again, then you gotta do it again. And it comes down to a certain point where both of us are just trying to run the other team out of portals. And we actually got them down to zero portals and then we were just unloading on them. But uh, they ended up getting a couple portals back. And also by the time we got there, we had lost a few players and we were missing a couple large players too. We were missing an 8 billion and uh, I think the largest player on our server, Brother War, I think he's about 16, 17 billion now. So big losses. They're, they're, they said they were missing a couple players too. But uh, I don't know their team as well. Obviously, they know their team better than I know their team, and I know my team better than they know my team. So I just know who we were missing. We were missing three players. We had 17 in the lineup, and they had 16. And you can see here, speeds galore. Everybody using them think, oh, man, I must have went through three or 400 in this battle, which is just way, way too many. But uh, this was actually a really important battle for us to have, I think, as an alliance because we felt that we feel we're, you know, right up there with the best. But there are these two super alliances that just had the mer server merges. And this is one of them, server 54 and server 60. This one that we're playing, 54, actually just lost to server 60, I believe, where they played each other in Battlefield. Um, I don't know what happened in the matchup. I heard different things, different accusations. All I know is the final score uh, and server 61. And they have a player named Rubio, I believe. That's their top player. And they're a good player. So as you can see there, I had to pour it away again. You can see the rally just missing me. So some lucky timing. I lasted a long time. Uh, normally in this sort of thing if we agree not to port these guys probably take me out in the first like seven eight minutes i'm probably you know maybe they're sixth or seventh 
target on our team. There's other people they'll go after first. And sometimes I shoot right up to like number one, number two, just because, you know, people love to hit me because uh, YouTube channel. I talk to a couple guys on their team actually sometimes, and sometimes they like to hit me just because we talk. So people like to hit people they're friendly with, right? Have a good laugh about it. But uh, anyways, because of the porting, it let me last longer in the battle. But uh, yeah, so this was just back and forth. You can see everybody's speeding things. And then you have to speed your march marches back. So it's basically like an all-star battle. But like I was saying, it was good to face these guys because with Shalons, we're week, one week in. This is going to be one of the teams. Like if we want to do well, we're going to face these guys. And we ha it's good to know how we're doing against them and maybe adjust strategy. Uh, you know, there's going to be four teams on the battlefield. So there's going to be things that we could do other than just this head-to-head -head format. I don't know what those things are. Like these guys are just so big. Uh, I don't know if they're beatable. Uh, 60 beat them, but like I said, I don't know what happened in the battle. And they're going to face each other again because I'm pretty sure 60 and 54, those two alliances are not getting eliminated from Shalons unless they face each other. So, you know, they're going to face each other again in Shalons and we're going to see who's uh, who comes out on top. Now, Shalons doesn't always tell you who the best team is. We saw that in last season. There are uh, things that can happen, uh, poor sportsmanship, point trading, that sort of stuff, things that can imp Im impact the final score. Best team doesn't always win, but, you know, it, th those things are live streamed and everyone can see what happens. So I would be surprised if 54 and 60 aren't both in the finals unless for some reason they face each other in the semifinals in one of the four brackets. But uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm looking around the map here, looking at buildings. So this is at about the point where we lose control of the buildings. In these battles, we don't really fight for buildings and neither do they. It's just kind of like when people get eliminated, they have no more troops, they move on to a building and try to control it to help their team. And then sometimes some people have a few extra troops than the other team, but or sometimes they'll commit a big player to go around and get the portals and get the buildings and hold them. So, you know, you never really know what's going on with the buildings because you're so focused on the actual battle on the hives here. And you can see our hives kind of broken up. People are all a little bit away and uh, I'm kind of on the side and just speeding in because we're out of ports and I'm trying to help and join the rallies and fill them. But uh, it's not easy because <laughs> these guys were porting very fast too and now we're about to get to kind of the end so right here we're basically within two or three thousand both teams are kind of tied for about an hour and then i'm gonna fast forward here cut ahead edit and get us right to kind of where the end point of the battle is and here we are you can see scores still relatively close and we basically just hive up and play a little bit of defense here. We know we're going to lose. We know it's over now. We, they got uh, a heal in the mines, and we were unable to fight them for the mines anymore. We just didn't have the numbers. We did at one point all, as a team, decide let's heal a march and rally it. But uh, just wasn't enough time. Those mines come fast within five minutes. We kind of decided this with two minutes left in the in the mine, in the buff, and uh, just wa it wasn't organized well or enough time in advance. So we sent one march at the mine, and it almost took it. And then the second one, it just didn't fill. I don't know if that's because people didn't heal their marches on time or they weren't informed. Who knows? Either way, it was a last-ditch effort trying to get a mine and get a heal and have a chance to compete again but once they got that heal it was over and that's where you see us now we're all just uh yeah so this is basically the end of the battle and they're just here finishing us off and great great game we got out ahead and then the power was just too much for us to overcome but uh you know, all we could do, it's, it's something to strive for. It's good to have these tough battles and know what you're up against and know what you need to improve on. If, you, if it's just a cakewalk all the time, the game's not interesting and you're really not going to improve. So I guess we got to 
discuss some strategies and see because we're definitely, you know, like I said, if we want to do well in Shalons, we're going to face these guys at some point. And here's the final score, I think, or maybe just before the battle ends. And that's it. So good game to uh, Server 54, Jim Sack and uh, Roller Pig and JT. So this is Genghis Server 68. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.